welcome to Saturday Showcase presented by Five Hour Energy. This is the ACC on ESPN. At a sold out Tucker Center in Tallahassee, Florida, we've got the Syracuse Orange taking on the eighth ranked Florida State Seminoles. And welcome everybody with Corey Alexander. I'm Doug Sherman, so glad you could join us here today. Now the last time we saw Syracuse was Tuesday. Elijah Hughes, their best player, was only able to go for two and a half minutes because of a groin injury. He has taken all sorts of treatment the last three days, and Corey, he's gonna try and give it a go this afternoon. And they need him if they want to try to disrupt the 19-game winning streak that Florida State has here at the Donald Tucker Center. But one of the things when you look at Hughes, who's the second leading scorer in ACC play, He's important to the Syracuse team because they're still in consideration for getting an NCAA tournament bid. You see them sitting at sixth in the ACC right now, but also a very important game for Florida State with the loss that Louisville to absorbed this week. Now they get another opportunity at becoming right at the top of that league with Louisville coming in on February 24th. They have to keep pace with the top of the ACC with the win here. Today. Right, so the Seminoles are very much in play for getting that number one seed as this tournament is looming in Greensboro. Louisville, Duke, and Florida State continue to be the class. Who's going to be one? Who's going to be two? Who's going to be three? And there is Elijah Hughes. This game for Syracuse, having lost three of its last four. According to Joe Lenardi this morning, Corey, this is Syracuse's last gasp. Well, it's their last gasp because when you consider a top 10 ranked team and an opportunity to be able to come in and get a big time quadrant one win to put on your resume, you have to get this win for Syracuse to try to remain in that consideration. So Hughes was able to practice a little bit yesterday and made the trip last night down from central New York here to Tallahassee. Warmed up as usual before the game this morning and told us just about 20 minutes ago he's going to give it a shot. But one of the things, Doug, when you're dealing with a groin injury and muscle injuries, you really never know until you explode. And that's the thing that we have to keep an eye on. Can he explode? We're talking about an athletic player. And can he make those quick twitch movements?